All right, you need a breaker ball because these wheels are real tight. Repeat the procedure on all the wheels. Shit. Step one, jack up the car under the control arm, as you see right here, and place a jack stand under the car. Now we're going to move the wheel. Now you want to turn the wheel all the way to the right to get access to all the bolts. Look at the size of these rotors and calipers. We're not changing the rotors. The rotors are good. We checked them. The guy's not complaining about no pulsation. But we're doing the hardest side. And on this side, we have the brake sensor that goes in there. So we followed it up. We disconnected it from the housing. We set it free from all the clips. Now we got to go to the junction box. Now I got one open. Now you're going to put the other one open. And you connect this in there. All right, now that we got this cover open, we got the sensor out, we're gonna take this guy here and push this tab in and pull it right out. All right, next thing we're gonna do right now is release two bolts. They look like 13 millimeters. There's one there. And there's one right on top, right here. All right, guys, I showed you the two bolts you need to release, but there's only one little problem. You need a skinny 17 millimeter wrench to get in there to hold this nut when you're turning it. We don't have that, but you can, and you probably won't either. So we're going to use vice grips. You can simply put vice grips on the bottom here. You can do that. No problem doing this at all. Now we, now that we put a vice grip here, we're going to get our 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and bust this guy loose. There it goes. And now we got this guy out and we got the top one out. Right, now we're going to take our caliper off. It's not heavy. Let's put it on the top for now. Now that we got the brake caliper up and supported nicely over here, we're going to take the back brake out. Look how low this guy was, ready? Look how low this guy was. And that's the sensor right there. We're gonna have to take it out. Sometimes he gets stuck. That's why we change him. Look how low the back one is. Now we take out the front guy. This guy's low too. Look at that. Nothing left. Just barely saved the rotors. Now we're gonna press the piston in, install the new brake pads and hardware, and your sensor. All right guys, there's two ways you can do this. Actually three, but I don't like using a C-clamp. It's too tiring. You can put one of the old brake pads in the front on the dual piston caliper. And press it in by you squeezing it. It'll go in. Or you can use that nice tool that I have that we got from Harbor Freight that I showed you on plenty of my other videos. And it's good for dual got. piston calipers. Take it in, pump it up. And it's gonna go nice and slow. See, now your pistons are completely compressed. We can take the tool out and we're going to install the brakes. All right, we're going to move the old hardware because we got new hardware. We're going to discard it. Remember how they came out? All right, now we're going to put the new hardware on the bottom. Snap it in. That one's good. Now we're going to put the top hardware on. And then line it up and snap it in. That one's in also, as you can see. Now I'll put the brakes on. Right, I'm going to bring it real close. We're going to put the rear brake pad on first. This is what you got to do. I'm bring you close. You gotta push this guy in, push it down first, and go up to the top, and line that one up in the groove, and push it in. Should go right in. See that? There we go. That's it nice and flush. This is the brake pad. We're gonna put the brake sensor on. So stand by. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right. Now we're gonna put the front brake pad on. Remember the bottom in, down, on the angle, push in, and slide the guy right in. This guy's in also. Let's see how good it's sitting. All right, let's put the caliper on. Before we put the caliper on, we're gonna take our guide pins out over here. Okay, we'll take them out. Okay, and put grease on them. We're using brake cat and caliper grease. So we'll simply dip them in. We'll simply dip them in there. And stick them right back inside where we took them out from. And now look how nice they're moving. We'll take the top one out also. And dip it. Let's take it back where we got it from. Right in there. All right, now we're gonna take our caliper and put it over. We're gonna push these pins in, so I can slide in. Push the bottom one in, so I can slide in also. And, it's, and then we're gonna put the screws on. The ones we took out, remember those guys, right? We're gonna line these guys up. The last thing we're gonna put on is the sensor. So we're gonna run these guys in to catch them. That one's in also. Remember, these guys here were moving and turning when we went to loosen them. They're doing the same thing while we install it. So we're gonna have to put our vice grips in here again, okay? And tighten them up, both the bottom and the top. All right, now make sure this guy's gonna be snug. 
Hold this guy and turn it. Alright, that's tight. The bottom one's tight. Now the center, guys. And we line it up, and then we're gonna push it in until it goes click. And it's in it clicked. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna run it the way we took it out before. In here, close it up. Put in that bracket right here. See that? Push it in. And put it back here. Back to the other side in the junction box. And you know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys.